So you should have had some input and some output. You should be able to see the words. It's important. I, I mentioned I uh, removed punctuation, but you also want to put them to lowercase uh, or all capitals, but I don't like looking at capitals. Uh, so I just put them all to lowercase because otherwise a capitalized like the at the beginning of a sentence will not be the same as the in the middle of the sentence. And we really just want to count that the at one time. Uh, no matter if it's capitalized or lowercase. All right, what happens when you see it twice? So one way to do it is you could just put a two here. But of course, you need to know when you've seen it twice. So how do we do that? So before we just put in word with a value of one, we need to check. So if this will be, we haven't seen it before. We're going to put it in with a value of one. And here's perfect time for an else. You're going to add the word to the uh, word count, but it, depending on if it's there or not, the value is going to be different else. All right, what are we going to do here? Int value equals. So I need to get the original, the, the current value in there. So there is a get, let's see if I can get the, all right, returns the value to which the specified key is mapped. And you have to put in a key, which for us is a string, and the string is word. So this is the original value uh, for these words, at the beginning, the, uh, if the word's already in there, the value will be one, but later on it could be more. Now I'm going to put this value in, but if I just do this, it'll put the value in unchanged, so I want to put one more than the value in. Okay, so we set up the uh, inside of the if statement. We haven't set up the condition here. So there's word count dot. Oh, look at that. So put all the booleans, the ones that return booleans to the top. Uh, what do I want to do? Well, I need to look for if it contains the key right there, contains key word. So if it contains key, well, actually I want the opposite. If it does not contain the key, then I'm going to put word in with a value of one, meaning I saw it once the first time. Uh, if it does contain the key, I'm going to get the original value, increase that value by one, and then put that back in there. All right, we're going to test this out. It didn't break what I already had because I didn't see any repeats, but let's go to, I think we'll start seeing repeats at 30. Here we go. Ebooks in there twice. The is in there twice. Buy is in there twice. Uh, you probably should go look at the text file uh, to see. Out here, I print out all the words coming in. So somewhere in here, I should see the once and the twice. There we go. The is in there twice. All right. Uh, let's put a huge number in so I can get everything. And now we see that we've got words that have shown up a lot. And if I can get to the, I don't want to scroll up here forever, but the appears, I believe it's well over 100 times in this file, but the and a, uh, there's some words that are super popular. Okay, once you feel like your code is running well, you do want to come in and delete the print statements. You don't need this anymore. Uh, let's see, that prints out the word. I think it's the only, only one I really need to get rid of. Yeah, I do have a for loop later we'll cover uh, in the next video. You're going to get some weird stuff like this. Don't worry. Uh, that's okay probably could go and delete stuff that has numbers in the middle of the word because those are going to be weird things, uh, but I'm not too worried about that. We don't need to clean our data here.